Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing a couple different methods to find your perfect sensitivity in Fortnite. Since I'm a keyboard and mouse player, I'll mainly focus on keyboard and mouse sensitivities. I haven't played on controller in almost a year now, so I don't want to misguide you guys on something that I'm not as informed about. There will be some overlap in just general tips that you can apply to finding a good controller sensitivity, but most of the methods will be for keyboard and mouse players. In the past, I've made a few videos on sensitivities in Fortnite, like High vs Low Sense or my sensitivity guide, which goes in depth to explain all the technical sensitivity details, but I haven't made a video on actual methods to find your sensitivity, which is what we'll be doing in this video. I'm going to split the video up into a couple different sections that will help you find different aspects of your sensitivity like DPI, in-game sense, and ADS and scope sense. I'll put some timestamps on the screen now for each of those sections, but just realize each section builds off the previous one, so you probably want to watch the whole video through. With that being said, let's start off with how you can find the first aspect of your Fortnite sensitivity, your DPI. I don't want to go too into detail on what your DPI is, if you want an in-depth explanation of it, check out my sensitivity guide, but it stands for dots per inch and is a measure of how sensitive your mouse is to a movement you make with it. So if you have a high DPI, your mouse will move much farther on the screen with the same amount of force put on it than if you had a low DPI. Basically the higher your DPI is, the more sensitive it is. Think of higher DPI as higher sensitivity. DPI is important because it's part of your overall Fortnite sensitivity which is called your eDPI or effective dots per inch. Your eDPI is your DPI times your Fortnite in-game sense. If someone uses 400 DPI and .12 in-game sense, they have a slower sense than someone who uses 800 DPI and .12 in-game sense. Even though they have the same in-game sense, one has a slower DPI which is 400 so therefore their overall sensitivity is slower. If instead that person with 800 DPI has 0 .06 in-game sense, then they have the same overall sensitivity or eDPI as the person with 400 DPI and 0.12 in-game sense. If you do the math, they both have 48 eDPI, but the only difference is one person has 400 DPI and the other person has 800 DPI. In Fortnite, your DPI is only used for swapping around weapons in your inventory, literally that's it. Most of the time, it's more important outside of Fortnite for just general desktop use like browsing the internet, watching Twitch streams, and of course hitting the like and subscribe buttons on this video. We only care about how your DPI affects Fortnite though, so in order to find the perfect DPI, go into creative and start swapping around weapons in your inventory. This may seem dumb, but that's what your DPI is used for, so this is how we're going to find a good one and then eventually a good in-game sense. This will basically just be trial and error on popular DPIs, so if it feels too slow, just raise your DPI, and if it feels too fast, lower it. Most mice have DPI shift buttons on them, so you can press that to either make it faster or slower, or you can go into your mouse's software and change it that way. You can see from my Logitech mouse software that shows my current DPI, and it lets me change it to anything I want. Some popular DPIs are 400 DPI, 800, 1600, and 2000, and you probably don't want to go above 2000. Just try all of these out and see what you prefer. I tried raising it to 800, but after going back to my inventory and swapping through weapons, it was just way too fast. Most software will allow you to actually change it to any DPI you want, like I changed it to 200, which not many people use. Just look up your mouse and its brand and see if it has software available to download or what DPIs are available through the DPI switch and then test them all out. Now that we have your DPI out of the way, we can get into the most important aspect of your sensitivity, your in-game X and Y sense. We're going to use the PSA method to find your in-game sense. First, just go into creative and put down a stationary target and then a moving target. We're going to use a stationary target to complete the first step of the PSA method. What you want to do is line up your crosshair on the stationary target, so don't aim in, just line up your crosshair, and then move your mouse from one side of the mouse pad to the other. The first step is basically to find the base sense that will do a perfect 360. On my current in-game sense, which is 0.12, you can see I do much more than a 360 when I move my mouse from one side of the mouse pad all the way to the other. This is because I already did the whole PSA method and I found out what I like better, but what we need to do right now is find the base sensitivity so we can find what we like after. I lower it to 0.10 and again swipe my mouse from one side of the mouse pad to the other and you can see it's almost a perfect 360 now. We're getting closer to completing the first step. I then lower it to 0.096 and it finally does a perfect 360. On this sense, when I move my mouse from the left edge of my mouse pad all the way
the way to the right edge of my mouse pad, I do a perfect 360. For the second step, just go to the link I left in the description, which is just a PSA method sense calculator, and you're going to input the sense that does a perfect 360. And just an FYI, when I put in 0 0.096, you can see that the site rounds it up to 0.10, but when I input it, two values come up on the output side of the page. One says lower and one says higher. What you want to do, based on the sensitivity you just found that does a perfect 360, is first try the base value, and if you don't like it, then try the higher and lower values and see which you prefer. So I start with the base 0.10 value and see whether I like it and how it feels with aiming on the moving target. You should try tracking from long range with your AR, then move closer and practice with your SMG and finally move on top of the target with your shotgun. You should be able to feel if it's too fast, too slow, or just right almost immediately. Also make sure you're practicing your building and editing. Do some 90s and protective ramp rushes, then edit down and practice your editing. On point 10, it felt sluggish to me, especially when I did the protected ramp rush, so I knew I wanted something a little faster and a higher sense, and that it wasn't the perfect sensitivity for me. Because it wasn't my perfect sense, now I have to tell the PSA method calculator whether I want it higher or lower. In order to do that, you should try out the higher and lower values on the right side of the page. So I went and tried the 0.14, which is the higher sense, and it definitely felt better compared to the 0.10, but it was a little too fast. My aiming was decent when I practiced at all three ranges, and flicks were definitely better, but you can see during some of the builds and edits I do, I was overshooting because it was too fast. What you want to do is then try out the lower sensitivity and see how you would like it compared to the higher sensitivity. Since I already thought that 0.10 was too slow, I knew that 0.05 would be way too slow, so I didn't bother trying it out. What you then need to do is basically compare the lower sense, so the 0.05, to the higher sense, 0.14, and tell the calculator which of the higher or lower sensitivity options you preferred. So I really like the 0.14 better, even though 0.14 was too fast, this doesn't mean it's going to be my sense, it just means that I preferred it over the 0.05, which was way too slow. So I clicked on the higher option on the left because I like 0.14 better than 0.05, and then it outputs a new base value, and two new higher and lower options. As you can see, the new base value is 0.12, which is the sensitivity that I actually use and found was perfect for me. You want to repeat the same process over again and do exactly what you did before. First, try out the new base value and see if it's good for you, which for me, 0.12 was absolutely perfect. If the base value isn't perfect, then try the higher and lower sensitivities and see which you prefer. Those higher and lower sensitivities aren't actual recommendations for what you should be using, but by trying each out and seeing what you like better, you're helping the algorithm give you a more accurate base value. When you're picking which you like better, the higher or the lower option, make sure that you're being honest and that you don't try to make the calculator give you a certain value for what you're looking for. In other words, don't go in with a predetermined idea of what sense you like, whether it be high or low. If you like the higher sense option more than the lower sense option, don't press low sense because Tfue plays on low sense and you don't want your base value to be too high. Everyone is different and has different preferences and setups. No two people will have exactly the same preferences. So the base values are the sensitivities that you really care about when you look at all the output sensitivities on the right side. Each time you tell the algorithm you prefer the higher or lower, it will spit out a new base value until you find a base value that you like. This is how the PSA method works and how I found my sensitivity. Some of you guys might find it really early on, like after one or two base values, but for other people it may take a lot of trial and error. Just remember, start off with the sensitivity that does a perfect 360 from one side of your mouse pad to the other. Input it into the website and then look at the output that it gives you on the right. If you don't like the base value, try out the higher and lower sensitivities and compare them against each other. After you decide which you like more, the higher sense or the lower sense, choose that option on the website and it will give you a new base value. Then try out the base value again and if you don't like it, repeat the process with the new higher and lower sensitivities until you find the best base value. The base value you like the most will be your in-game Fortnite sensitivity. From what I've tried myself and found online, the PSA method is probably the easiest and most straightforward way for finding a good in-game sense. Obviously, you can do trial and error with random sensitivities to find what you like, but this is a good place to start if you have no clue what you're looking for or where to start. Last note is that some people like Mongrel like their Y sense slightly slower than their X sense. I prefer my X and Y sense to be the same, but that's mainly preference and it's completely up to you. Just find what you like best. The last aspect of sensitivity is your ADS and scope sensitivities. To find them, I suggest going into this aim course by Beaks and just doing trial and error. The code for the course will be up on the screen now. Just grab an AR from the chest and run over to the Tile Frenzy aim training wall. So I suggest starting at two different values, either 1.0 or 0.5. 
1.0 means that your ADS sense is the same as your in-game sense, so when you're tracking, there's going to be no difference between your hip fire and your ADS sense, so it will feel pretty fast. A ton of pros use 1.0 as their ADS because you never really lose any speed when you ADS compared to if you had it on like 0.5 or something else. The other value that I suggest starting at is 0.5, which means that your ADS will be half the speed of your hip fire. To me, I like a slower ADS speed than my hipfire speed because when you're ADSing, you're usually doing it when someone's far away, and it's much easier to aim in on someone who's far away when you have a slower sense than with a faster sense. Obviously, this is all up to you guys, but just try either 0.5 or 1.0 and then work your way down. My last tip is just to play the game and get used to your sensitivities for a couple of days before you decide to switch. There's no better way to getting used to your sense than just practicing and playing a lot. Overall though, do trial and error to find a good DPI when swapping through weapons, follow the steps I laid out for the PSA method to find your in-game sense, and lastly, do trial and error for your ADS sense starting from 0.5 or 1.0. If this video helped you guys out, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and to turn on post notifications. Thank you to everyone using my code and supporting the channel. The Ducky12 mini giveaway will begin within the next week or so. Be sure to follow my Twitter to stay up to date with that. Otherwise, that's it from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.